بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم پیارے طلبہ آج ہم ایک نیا سلسلہ شروع کرنے جا رہے ہیں جس میں ہم پاکستان میں گریجویشن کی کلاسز میں جو سلیبس ہے انگلیش کا اس کے متعلق انشاءاللہ آپ کو لیکچرز ڈلیور کریں گے تو سب سے پہلے ہم جو ہے وہ پویٹری کی بک سٹارٹ کریں گے تو اس میں جو سب سے پہلی پویم ہے اس کے اوپر ہم سٹارٹ لیں گے جو جو فرسٹ پوائنٹ ہے دا فرسٹ پوائنٹ دیٹ وی ار گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس از لیئر لیئر ریٹن بائی بی ان ڈیٹیز اس میں لٹریچر میں میں آپ کو جتنے بھی لیکچرز دوں گا یہ جنرل قسم کے لیکچرز ہوں گے جو تقریباً تمام کوئسنز کو جو ہے وہ کور کریں گے مزید اگر آپ رہنمائی چاہتے ہیں اگر آپ انڈیویجولی تو میرا نمبر میں اس پہ بورڈ پہ بھی لکھ دوں گا اور آپ ویسے نوٹ بھی کر سکتے ہیں زیرو تھری ہنڈرڈ سکس فور سکس فور نائن سیون نائن میرا سیل نمبر ہے اسی پہ میرا واٹس ایپ نمبر ہے تو آپ ڈائریکٹ رابطہ بھی کر سکتے ہیں تو لٹریچر میں جو اہم باتیں ہیں وہ یہ ہیں کہ ہمیں لٹریچر کو سمجھنا ہے وی آر ٹو انڈرسٹینڈ لٹریچر ان آرڈر ٹو read it from the point of view of examination or to get maximum benefit from literature we read whenever we read a poem or we read any other piece of literature we read it in the light of these directions first of all every piece of literature is an exposition it exposes something it depicts something it presents something it reveals something it exposes it lays bears یہ ایکسپوز کرتا ہے کچھ اور وہ ایکسپوز جو ہے یہ کیا کرتا ہے اٹ ایکسپوزز لائف اٹ ایکسپوزز لائف آف مین مین اور ویمن سیم تھنگ اٹ ایکسپوزز لائف آف مین مین ہیز گاڈ نیچر مین ہیز گاڈ نیچر وچ از ایدر گڈ اور ایول سو مین نیچر از پرزینٹڈ ان لٹریچر evil is presented in such a way that we hate natural evil and we do not like to develop evil in our in ourselves whereas good is presented in such a way that we appreciate goodness in, in ourselves so literature depicts life life of man man's nature nature is universal so literature is also universal human nature never changes since human nature never changes what is presented in literature is always universal and true to life ages change whereas shakespeare's writings are the same and they are still appreciated iqbal's writings are same they are still appreciated because they are about human nature so since it's man's nature which is presented in literature man's live in society Literature is about man, so it is again about society as well. Since it's about life of man, it is about society in which man lives. Society has many various facets. There are many facets of society. We have social facet, we have religious facet, we have economical facet, We have political facet, we have moral facet, we have a cultural aspect of society. So these are various facets which are presented in literature. Literature may be about one thing or may be about all these things. There may be one aspect of life which is presented in literature. There may be many aspects of life which are presented in literature. So man has got two major things. One is mind and the other one is the heart. Heart is connected to emotions. Man has got emotions. At the same time, mind has got thoughts. So man is man as he has emotions and thoughts. If a man has no emotions and no thoughts, then he may be physically or biologically a man but from the point of view of philosophy he is not a man in the true sense of the word because men have emotions and they have also thoughts so 
when we study literature we study man we study his life we study his nature as well as we study various things of nature of his life various aspects of society we also study mind of man and we also study heart of man so in poetry the major focus is heart we approach to the study of man by appealing to our heart but it doesn't mean that poetry only appeals to heart it also appeals to mind so these are some of the things which are exposed in literature life is for that you can see many examples a large number of examples can be quoted in this respect for example i quote abraru hak song ajmela vekhna ya kudiya lao ya which society is presented lahori society is presented ajmela vekhna ya kudiya lao ya lahori girls are present and then the second thing is that we see their habits lali galla utte changi tarah lage these are the habits maybe evil habits or you may call that they are gone on the wrong track using maximum quantity of cosmetics in order to be beautiful whether they are beautiful in reality or not it doesn't matter but one thing is very clear they are using cosmetics to a great extent so however we will see what is the next thing that we are going to see while reading literature the second thing that we are to to focus on is it reforms the society it gives us reformation literature reforms it purifies it tries to purify there may be different intentions of the poet like just to make you know what is good and what is not good or he may be targeting purification in your character he may be trying to bring purification in your character वो आपके किरदार में प्योरिफिकेशन लाने की कोशिश की कर रहा हो सकता है तो इस बिना पे आर राइटर इज गिवन डिफरेंट नेम्स ही मे बी गिवन अ टाइटल एज अ मॉरलिस्ट और ही मे बी गिवन अ टाइटल ऑफ प्योर पोइट इफ ही इज नॉट फोकसिंग ऑन प्रीचिंग यू मोरलिटी दैट ही इज अ प्योर पोइट फॉर एग्जांपल इकबाल इज सेड टू बी अ फिलोसोफिकल पोइट ही इज टीचिंग यू फिलोसफी ही इज giving you wisdom through his poetry he appeals to your mind and heart at the same time similarly wala bija pure poet wala bija pure poet so we have different terms we will discuss in detail in future someday once again let me quote the example of abraul zak song ajmela rakhna ya kudiya lao the way urdu language is used by the writer mela rakhna mela vekhan means avara gardi karna to room without purpose aaj mela vekhan hai kudiyan lo hoti hai matlab ladkiyan jo hain avara gardi karne aa gayi so this exposure reforms if a girl thinks when he listens he he enjoys at the same time it appeals to the thinking and brings purification ab literature purification kaise lata hai literature brings purification by appealing to our sense it gives a sense it makes you sensitive it makes you wise so literature makes us wise aksar kaha jata hai ki namaz hadith e mubarak hai namaz be hai aur buri baaton se rokti hai ab kaise rokti hai namaz samne aake khadi nahi ho jati it creates in you a sense it develops in you a sense of goodness of purity and you feel that we are going to indulge in some evil and we resist we don't indulge in evil it's the role of prayer that it is bringing purification in you and it stops you from any evil similarly literature develops in you sense that is why literature is said to be an interpretation of religion literature is an interpretation of religion as well so the last thing that we are to notice while reading any piece of literature is that it also entertains you entertains in different ways there is entertainment it differs it from all other branches of knowledge 
entertainment which is there in literature differs it from other branches of knowledge. When you read literature, you are having entertainment at the same time getting purification and getting wisdom as, as well. So that is why literature is good to read. It's, it makes you good man. If you study literature, it makes you wise. It makes you active as well. So the point that we are going to discuss today is life. It is about life. Life of modern man is presented in this point. Modern man's life is presented. What is this life? The poet opens the point with a question. The question is developing us a thought. And the question is about life. Life of modern man. And we think, we see in our surrounding, we see that modern man is all the time busy. He is all the time busy in earning money. And he works from dawn to dusk, from morning to till late at night, in order to money. In order to earn money. So father says the money is working all the time like a machine. He has become a robot. And he has ignored all layer, all enjoyment of nature. There is no layer in his life. What is this life if you love here? We have no time to stand and stare. He has no time. Since he has no spare time, no free time to enjoy nature, what is there in life? Tension, frustration, full of care. There is care, tension, frustration, and anxiety. This is what is exposed in this point, layer by William Davis. Life of modern man is presented, which is full of tension and frustration. Which is full of tension and frustration. So if you have a question, what is presented in, in layer? Modern man's life is presented in layer, who is very busy all the time in earning money. He acts like a robot and works like a machine. He is all the time working in order to earn money. And his life is full of tension and frustration. His life becomes dull and drab. So this is what is presented in literature. The second thing that is there in this poem, that is once again affirmation. The poet tries to attract man to nature. And he attracts man to nature by different ways. First of all, he talks about, first of all, he asks a question and develops in us thinking. Thinking about our style of life, our lifestyle. He says it has no life, there is no enjoyment of uh, nature in your life. Then he mentions different objects of nature. By talking about different objects of nature, he attracts man to nature. For example, I am going to talk about the gold of 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 he talks about nature in such a way as we are attracted to nature. He talks about that there are boughs, branches and we are passing through forests and there are squirrels hiding their nursing grass which is a very magical and bewitching scene. And then he says that there is a beauty all around us, smiling on us. There are beautiful flowers, there are beautiful trees, there are beautiful things in this world which we can see and enjoy. But we ignore because we have to meet someone, we are to go somewhere, we are to, to see someone. We are busy in some business assignment, we are to see someone. That is why we can't stay in the forest. There are beautiful streams around us. They are surrounding us and when the light of the sun falls on the water of stream, it shines like twinkling stars in the skies at night. It's rain a very bewitching and magical scene. But we miss this scene too because we are very busy. We have no time. And finally, the poet once again laments on the fact. He tries to make us realize 
in the last line concluding or summing up the point he says a poor life he makes us think what is poor life life is poor because we have no time to enjoy it. life is not poor because we have no money man is poor when he has no money man is poor when he has no money but life is poor if it has no enjoyment no happiness happiness is not something which you can buy from the one from the shop key from the shop you take some money and go to a shop and to you say to the shopkeeper please give me some happiness aap 50 rupaye ki ja ke dukaan se gaye ye 50 rupaye ki khushi de de can you buy happiness no you can buy happiness by enjoying nature you must go in the company of nature it will relieve your tension it will relieve your stress it will make you a balanced human being there are many other positive activities to relieve stress one of them which is which is very good that is to enjoy nature a poor like this if full of care if life is full of tension and frustration it is really a very poor life it is really a very dark da land drab life so you can have these main two questions which are there what is presented in life life of modern man is presented why does the poet present in nature he wants to attract man to nature this is the lesson of this poem you can say no we have a uh, see some of the things in its style style of this poem it is it is a poem which is written on the style of a sonnet having 14 lines but the rhyme scheme is totally different from a sonnet it doesn't have a tail and c set the poem opens with a question what is this life you full of care we have no time to stand and stare so the poem is written in couplets this poem layer is written in couplets and uh, couplets mean the ending word of two lines a rhyme with each other what is this life is full of care care we have no time to stand and stare care and stare they rhyme in the same way they have same rhyme scheme no to talk about some of the images we have seen in this poem uh some scenery but uh, there is the personification in this poem personification you may have a question for this personification define personification and uh, highlight the personification in this poem personification is a kind of metaphor in which an abstract thing acts like a living एक अबस्ट्रैक्ट चीज जो है ये एक जिंदा शायद की तरह अमल करती है फॉर फॉर एग्जाम्पल आई से फॉर्च्यून स्माइल दैट अस इस मन हम पर मुस्कुराती है दैट डज नॉट नॉक आर द डोर मौत दस्तक नहीं देती दरवाजे इट कम्स डायरेक्टली ये खुद आ जाती है सो दैट इज नॉकिंग एट द डोर विच इज नॉट पॉसिबल from an abstract thing but it is possible in a poem when an abstract thing is presented acting like a living thing when an abstract thing acts like a living thing in a poem or a piece of literature and its first letter is also capital it is called personification for example in this poem beauty beauty's glance beauty glance beauty is an abstract thing we can't touch it it's an abstract thing and it glances glancing is the act of a living thing it looks it sees meaning by beauty has first letter b which is capital in the poem and it is also glancing like a living thing so it means an abstract thing is acting like a living thing meaning by beauty is personified in this poem why is personification used what is the function of personification the writer wants to pack maximum meanings in minimum space he can't talk about all objects of nature 
he talks about some of the objects of nature then he uses beauty as a personification symbolizing every beautiful object of nature beauty means charms of nature every beautiful object of nature so it doesn't mean a girl a beautiful girl like it doesn't mean a beautiful flower if we mean by beauty a beautiful girl it means we are fixing the meaning of beauty to a beautiful girl i we are we are having only beautiful flower as meant by beauty which would mean to fixing the to fix the meanings of beauty which is not the purpose of the poet the poet uses some poetic beauty in order to pack maximum meanings in minimum space so by beauty the poet means charms of nature then there is also uh, some similes however when you read the text you will find it because whenever we see any simile there is the word of uh, use of like or as as so it's really a very beautiful poem in which nature is presented and with with the purpose to attract us to nature if we enjoy nature we will have no tension no frustration and the life of modern man is presented which is very busy and uh, uh, very tense thank you ji assalam alaikum